Amy Krulowitz was on that train. She received treatment at a nearby medical center and she joins us now. So Amy, first of all, I, I, you're obviously okay, uh, but you did sustain an injury, right? T tell us a little bit about that. I, um, I sprained my ankles because mm -hmm. I was seated with my back towards the front of the train. So when the impact hit, it twisted my feet a little bit, but certainly nothing serious. Yeah. So what does that mean? Does that mean as it is, are you able? To, are you not able to walk for a little while? Is that is that what that means? Well, I can walk. It just uh, is a basic sprain. I'm sure it'll get better by tomorrow and by the next day. But frankly, I'm. I don't feel like walking anywhere right now. <laughs> I bet you don't. I bet you don't. Okay. So tell tell us about what happened this morning. The um, it. it it was a usual morning commute, except that the train was one car short, which happens often on the Pascac Valley line, so it was a very crowded train. Um, I usually go into the first car because that's the quiet car, but it was too crowded, so I made my way back to the fourth car where I finally found a seat. Uh, by the time uh, passengers came and went from all the stops, everyone was standing in the aisles as well as seated in every seat, so it was a full train. Um, as it started to come into the yard and the announcements were made that we're arriving in Hoboken, people started packing up their things as they usually do, um, and generally the train starts to slow down at that point. Um, it did not. Um, then, um, before I knew it, I felt something that to me felt like the car went off the track. And um, by the time my brain told me the car went off the track, then the impact occurred. And it indeed did sound like an explosion, but I did never think it was an explosion. I knew we crashed. Um, and then everything was still. Um, at that point, all the lights went off. Uh, we all stood up, started calling to everyone in the car to make sure everyone was all right. Could everyone walk? Were they ambulatory? Was anyone seriously injured? Uh, we managed to uh, all walk out. However, when we opened the door, uh, our car was diagonal, so it, it definitely slipped the track somehow, and we had to diagonally exit the train. Um, the, um, when we got out on the platform, there was mayhem. You could see sparks flying. You could see water coming down. Concrete slabs were on the ground. Uh, the first car was was bent, you know, almost in two, not completely, but but it was very bent. Um, people were panicking uh, towards the first car. There was a broken glass window in the first car, and people were trying to pull passengers out uh, of the car at that point. And so, um, what what were you thinking as you were seeing all of this? <laughs> I was thinking, um, uh, I, I was in shock. I, all I did was think, let's run to people who need help, see if everyone's okay, make sure that the authorities go to the people who look like they need help. Most people were ambulatory. Um, the people from New Jersey Transit were helping us because we had to step onto the next track and up to get away from the train. Um, I wanted to get away from the train as fast as possible. I was afraid of an explosion at that point. Um, and then uh, the people who were ambulatory went out into the main um, Hoboken bus terminal, which is a large parking lot area, and that's where the triage began. And so then, then what happened to you? Were, that's when you were taken to a medical center? The, um, they asked people, you know, uh, they interviewed you very briefly, but they asked you what, what was wrong and how you felt, and they gave you uh, a card to hang around, your, hang around your neck and ripped off the appropriate category, the green meaning minor injuries. So uh, they asked all the people who had the green minor injuries to stand in one area. We were there for a good hour. Um, they would not take any of the ambulatory people away until they went inside mm -hmm. and brought the people out um, in ambulances, the ones who really needed the critical care uh, to take those out first, which is a, totally understandable. Uh, then after some time, they told us to walk to a bus uh, where we walked and sat there for a little while until the arrangements were made. And then we drove over to mm -hmm. Jersey City Medical Center 
uh, where we stood in line and uh, every person was greeted by hospital personnel who then sat us down and took care of us. They did a great job. So how do you feel about all of this? I mean, I'm certainly good to hear that uh, the sprains don't, the sprains sound minor. <laughs> But how do you feel physically, about it? I'm, physically, yeah. I'm fine. Um, I've been taking the train for over 30 years. Um, I always sit in the first car. Um, so when the reality set in that I could have been in that first car, I, I started to really feel the effects of the morning. Uh, I also uh, noticed uh, a crowbar had landed next to me after the impact. And when I saw that crowbar and I realized the implications if that had hit me in the head, I, I also started to really feel uh, the events of the morning. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Um, I've been using public transportation my entire career uh, of 35 years, and um, it's frightening. Well, Very Amy, Amy I, I'm glad to hear that, that, that you're okay. Um, I, I can understand yeah. that you're certainly fearful. But uh, we're, we're glad to hear that you're, that you're at home and you're okay. Yes, thank you very much. And that's Amy Krulowitz in Hackensack, New Jersey. She was on that train that crashed this morning.